<sighs> well, I just found out how scary cats can be, despite their cuteness. So... Oh, it happened on my way to school this morning. I spotted a kitten that had gotten itself stuck up in a tree. I tried rescuing it since I felt bad for it, but I ended up with the clawing of a lifetime for the effort. I had no idea the cat's claws were so sharp. Speaking from experience, eh? It really does hurt a lot. But I was able to rescue the kitten, so it was all still worthwhile. All I really have to do is make sure to put antibiotics on the scratches anyway. Well, let's move on and talk about a different kind of pain. We discussed this a bit last time we talked, actually. The pain felt within one's heart. There are all sorts of ways to identify and diagnose physical injuries and illnesses. But when it comes to the pains of the heart, we're working in unknown territory. There's so much we haven't learned yet. Treating trauma sure is difficult when it's invisible. If only we could somehow directly reduce emotional pain in a healthy way. Like putting antibiotics on a scratch. Oh, how astute of you. As a matter of fact, you're not too far off the mark. Unfortunate as it may be, we all know there's no topical medicine that can properly heal a heartache. Not only that, psychological issues are even more complex. Here, allow me to demonstrate. <sighs> oh, woe is me. My heart is in such pain, it's like I'm being pierced through the chest. Oh my. I have such a torturous burning deep inside me. I, I'm sorry. Sorry, that was a poor attempt at acting. Please don't look at me like that. But uh, basically what I'm getting at is, our own emotional pain is the only kind we can fully comprehend. That seems obvious, right? But it's absolutely vital to understand. A person's heart, their pain, cannot be seen. Even if they spent their whole lives expressing it to others, there's no way for them to truly grasp it. It's not like we can directly look at their hearts and remove the root cause of their pain. But for me to do any good in that area, I need to conduct further research into the heart. More specifically, I need to learn how the heart reacts to the world around it. That's the first stepping stone to a breakthrough in the field. Once that's been figured out, we'll not only comprehend psychological pains that were once unknowable, but we'll be able to perform more effective treatment for those people with wounded hearts. It's nothing so grandiose. But hey, if we can get rid of people's pain, that'd be for the best, right? I'm no fan of pain myself. Well, uh... On the other hand, people have laughed off my idea as just a silly, pointless dream, and I can't say I blame them. But still, you take the time to listen to what I have to say, and you actually try to understand. Thanks to you, I can tell I'm actually getting somewhere with my theories. How can I phrase it? I guess I could say you're making this hazy, hard-to-grasp idea finally appear before me? You know, you could very well become a counselor yourself someday. Say, would you like to try being my assistant? Of course, I'm on a shoestring budget, so I wouldn't be able to pay you. Oh, sounds great. Surprisingly eager. Maybe you really will become a skilled counselor in the future. Joking aside, I truly am grateful for your assistance. Thank you. All right. Let's put a pin in that for today, shall we? I hope you'll lend me an ear again when you've got the time to spare. Now, I know you've been waiting for this, so let's get to the mental training. 
All right. Oh, and here. Never a bad time for a snack, right? Be careful, okay? Hey, do you have a moment? I should have asked this sooner, but... Is this leaving you with any mental fatigue? Is your schoolwork being affected? Really? Thank goodness. I was worried. Not every guy wants a middle-aged weirdo rambling to them about a bunch of philosophical abstracts. I know it's asking a lot, but it'd be great if we could keep... What? The station? Sorry. I think this tourist needs help. I'd better go. Uh, hold on. Shinjuku Station? And, oh, you've got no money, huh? Hey, inmate! Listen well. Been searching all along. Then. You've got guts. Up. I suppose. Hey. didn't experience you seemed much more excited by the toy than the taste anyway Sh shut up i saw you eating around those pickle things or whatever they are justine that that 
wasn't food from this earth. It was clearly a... alien spawn of some sort. What? Is this true? I see. Well, they didn't taste bad. But seriously, what are they? I ate all of mine, you know. Calm down, Caroline. We're getting off track. <clears throat> well, at any rate, we've determined that hamburgers are incapable of conveying the majesty of space. While the toy spaceship helped to soften the blow, there's no denying the truth. Now we will formally acknowledge the completion of your task. Here is your reward. You better work just as hard next time. We know about all sorts of locations that would aid your rehabilitation. I'm still taken aback by the truth. Your world is absolutely full of these shop places. For a reasonable fee, nearly every desire can be fulfilled, all as if it were nothing. That does sound interesting. I believe it may merit further research. Anyways, good work, inmate. Your final task for the day is to escort us back to the Velvet Room. Let's move! an inmate. Hey guys, I hope you don't mind this shift in the content. I know you haven't heard much from me this episode, but there was a lot of back-to-back -back new content between the new social links and the new outings with the wardens. We're taking a step in Elizabeth's shoes. 
I think they're wonderful additions to the game. The Wardens especially, because I feel like I'm getting to know them a lot better. I think this is what the social link between them should be. It's a treat to watch. There will be more episodes formatted like this in the future, with less emphasis on recap and more emphasis on slowing down to show the new Royal-specific content. So that squared away, we're going to finish up this episode with one more of the new Social Link skits. So I'll see you next time. I think that's good. home now. All right. <laughs> 